Hi folks, Keith Holland again. I've got a project here. Um, I'd like to show you part of what uh, I'm doing here to this register, uh, this uh, restoration here. Um, the uh, it's an old Gretsch guitar, and uh, the part I want to show you that I'm doing right now is uh, is how to fit the um, a uh, arch top bridge on top of an arch top guitar. Uh, this is an old Gretsch, uh, probably uh, late 50s, early 60s, uh, 6124. Let's take a look at it. There it is. Now you can see somebody had uh, had put on a uh, uh, tunematic style bridge and tailpiece. Uh, I've uh, put maple dowels into the holes to fill the, where the tailpiece is going, and uh, I've leveled it. Uh, and uh, here's the bridge that's going to go on there. It's original style bridge. And uh, usually, what the case is usually with these things is that they don't really fit the top of the guitar. Um, exactly, and that's very important to get that correct. There's a little bit of uh, a gap there. Let's see if we can get close. And there's just a little bit of gaps on the outside ends of the bridges of the bridge here on both sides. And I want to fit that correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use my sandpaper here. It's a sticky back sandpaper. I'm going to place it on top of the instrument here, and then I'm going to sand that bridge down to where it is. Uh, the same diameter as the top. It fits very secure on the top of that guitar. Now if I was to take this sticky sandpaper and stick it straight to the top of the guitar, it may uh, it may damage the finish here. So I'm going to use my uh, my blue back tape here to protect the top of the guitar first before I put this down. And uh, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Okay, here's my Gretsch again. Um, you see I've uh, applied the blue tape to the top of the guitar. And by the way, before I put any tape on the guitar, I pre-stick it to my shirt. I stick it to my shirt first to uh, remove that uh, stickiness that uh, is on the tape, um, just to protect the uh, finish of the guitar just a little bit uh, uh, more. Uh, I try to protect things as much as I can. Uh, and then I put the uh, the sandpaper, this is 80 grit sandpaper here, getting ready to fit the Gretsch bridge on there. Now. The important thing is to not tilt the bridge. I, I don't want to tilt that bridge at all. I want to be real firm. I don't want to go in one direction as I sand across here. And you see as I'm sanding, you can see the areas that aren't contacting the bridge, the bottom of the bridge right away. I mean the bridge that's not contacting the top of the guitar right away. You can see where it's removing material. It's removing material on the inside and outside, but not on the inside yet. So I want to get to that point to where it's removing the material all the way from here to here. Then I know that the bottom of that bridge is matching the top of that guitar. And uh, I want to do it in a way to where it's the bottom of that bridge is firm on the top of that guitar. So I'm going to do it slowly, take my time, and watch what I'm doing every once in a while. Look at the bottom of that bridge, make sure it's fitting correctly, and make sure it's not rounding off on the bottom uh, to be real firm. And uh, that's what I'll do. And that's how you fit a arch top bridge to an arch top guitar.